Hello everyone, Farah Further here from, uh, well, Sahara and uh, I made the video about what to pack and I did it for the motorbike and I said that the second episode is going to be what I pack for myself and I think it would be really cool to do it from here because I'm packing uh, my camp onto the T7 I'm going to go through the bike uh, where things are and then I move to the uh, tent where I can talk about some of the items. I'm not going to talk about everything because that would be pointless. In terms of luggage, it's pretty straightforward. At the front, I have the Moscow Moto Nomad, uh, not Domax, the old version. Uh, and in here, I have the Turkana Hippo Hips. Absolutely wonderful kit so far. Really, really cool stuff. And uh, in the back, I have uh, Tracker 10 from Moscow Moto. And how, it, how it's packed is here goes my tent and a sleeping bag. So first sleeping bag, then a tent. So I can take the tent first. Um, and in one bag, it goes all my clothes. And on the other side, it goes all my camping gear, cooking and everything. So that's the main pockets. Um, I do have the packs in here, as you can see. Um, this uh, bag is for thermos and this is for my stove. So I'm using uh, MSR um, Risperlite. So this is one liter bottle, uh, which you can use as a spare fuel as well. Um, I do have a saw in here for trees, mainly in Albania. <laughs> um, obviously, we have the first aid and I have the video about what uh, is in the first aid in terms of um, having a stomach problem, so that's it. And that goes all in here. To get the weight, there's the Visperlite in there and there is a um, compressor. So that's in terms of luggage, very straightforward uh, piece of kit. Uh, so far it works brilliantly. Um, here in this pocket is all the bike stuff. Oh, I have the bungee cords, very important bungee cords. What I have also here is um, two sockets, so one socket for charging phones and everything. I do have the LSADV mount, which works brilliantly so far. Uh, people asking what's this one for? So this one is for actually using it for the brake, to wrap it around the brake when you need to pick up the bike. Uh, another thing is <coughs> because my drone mount has been stolen. I'm using this as a drone mount together with the Moscow Moto Nomax. So, Nomad. Uh, so that works rather well. Um, so yeah, I think that is in terms of where things are on the bike. And in here I want to talk about a few things. So, um, tarp. Definitely really, really useful to have a tarp. My tent is big Agnes Copper Spur for two people. Uh, using it for one. It works brilliantly so far. Now it doesn't have obviously the rain cover on it. It works really well and I like it. It has this pocket in here for example. It has uh, pockets in there and what you can see it's really kind of it's a box effectively how is it constructed which makes it very very spacious. Now the only thing I don't like about it is that these uh, poles, tent poles, are pre-bent. So every single piece almost is unique. And if I break one, uh, I'm going to be in a deep, deep, deep shit. So that is one of the biggest disadvantages of this tent. But MSR is exactly the same. Now, if I would have a rain cover on, you would see that the both exits <coughs> have this kind of a upsida or how I would say it and you can use the bungee cords to make a little bit of a shelter for from sun and from everything I'm not gonna go into my riding gear here because there's not too much of interesting things just uh, use good protection I'm using the knee braces in here because I have screwed my knees already so that's it and now let's move on to what I actually pack. This is my water stuff and I have 1.5 litres in the Nomad 
uh, 2 liters is in the dromedar and 1.5 liters uh, no 1 liter is in the thermos I love the thermos because you can have a tea and everything mm -hmm. this is really really important it's the water filter so I can filter water from any source effectively then in terms of food nothing really special apart from the fact that I'm, I'm really fond of the cricket protein bars and cricket protein powders so I have that for breakfast and then in the desert and on the rally what is quite useful are these energy gels if you get drained of energy they will replace that quite soon so this all camping gear and the sleeping mat goes into one bag um, with the food and everything uh, my sleeping mat is um, Klimit Ultralight SL I like it because it's really tiny and small but the only problem is it's very narrow so I kind of fall off and at the top there is a pillow cover so I use pillow cover with one of my um, clothes uh, organizers like this um, to create a pillow rather than carrying a pillow my sleeping bag is not this Ferino one it's a Polish company called um, Cumulus and I don't have a sleeping bag I have a quilt um, 350 I will put some pictures on a uh, few items which are complete luxury but I really like it that obviously is my carpet and my small knife <laughs> this is the um, Nepali and Kukuri which I uh, carry for protection and as an as an axe uh, so that's that uh, cutlery and all that so that goes in there nothing more interesting in there so in terms of personal hygiene what I would like to mention is these products so this is a dry toothpaste and one of these lasts for a year effectively and it is really really cool uh, because um, it works absolutely great and you don't need to carry liquids with you the same with the mouthwash or soaps or shampoos or anything like that very very cool stuff um, now in terms of clothes I have two items to mention first these are barefoot uh, wildling shoes um, barefoot shoes um, wildling okay. that's the brand and I started to love them incredible piece of kit they pack into just like tiny I mean like, look at that look at that tiny thing it is super cool they're really comfy they are really light and I really really like them so that's it and another piece of kit which I have is Rab um, Cirrus Flex I think is the jacket and this is cool because I using this instead of the uh, Revit liner the hot warm liner which goes into jacket I use this instead and I use that everywhere and in the desert it was really good because it's quite cold actually and in this bag is all my clothes on the rest of it and um, all that kind of stuff and this gets packed into it as well uh, plus the shoes goes packed into it as well and now let's move to the electronics these two pieces of luggage are almost full of electronics this is kind of a borderline mix of various stuff but this mainly is and this gets all packed into a uh, Moscow Moto Duffel Backcountry 30 and I love the bag for um, versatility it's heavy but it's okay uh, and what I did is I used this IKEA organizer to organize all my electronics so it doesn't go in all different directions and places so what we have here is the drone and the remote don't ask me how I get it in here um, there's microphones in here so I have microphones and other stuff uh, rarely using this I thought I'm gonna be using it more this is just uh, some random crap um, here flask which is unfortunately empty now which is really sad um, I do use um, sometimes all my secondary papers in here and I use that on uh, cash and I have them on my neck so that is good don't need it here notebook also using it very rarely 
Uh, Kindle, another thing which is cool to have and a lot of people love it. I have not been using it now. Um, another electronics box. This is probably the main box. Uh, good charger. What you want is to have some really, really, really good charger. So I have one. This is, I think, Hyper Juice or whatever. Uh, you can get the Chinese knockoffs. Um, and the cables. Um, I have three SSDs here. I'm using the Samsung T7s and T3s. Um, thanks to Frankie, uh, I got this wonderful thing for organizing all my SD cards and micro SD cards. Um, that's cool. Um, then some adapters, some all the kind of stuff. Uh, cables are in here again. Um, and then drone charger for the mains. So that's this thing. And in here is the laptop. So that's this heavy box. I mean, this is probably the heaviest single piece of luggage I have. Now, what I have is a Garmin InReach SOS, uh, InReach Mini. Works reasonably well. I'm not using it that much. I paid it for this month for the Sahara, but otherwise I'm not really having it. So that's it. Um, flashlight. I'm using this, um, what is it, Olight Air S2. Now, I had the version before and I liked it more. This one, the gesture controls, pisses me off. Um, and in here we have some random crap, really. Uh, lighter, another knife, and I have a... Ah, let's take it out. I have this charger, which can charge my laptop from the Tenere. And that's really, really cool thing. So, um, it's the Epico charger, and that works really well. It can charge your laptop from the bike, if the bike is running. Uh, don't charge that. Uh, there's some batteries, blah, 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 doesn't matter. Here we have, I have a Leatherman. Um, I have two power banks in here. A charger for the DJI action cam and a charger for the drone battery. It charges incredibly quickly. And this all gets packed very, very neatly onto the bike in the next, well, I don't know, <laughs> few minutes. So, yeah. Look at the Sahara.